Hello! This video is a quick update on my little synthesizer project. It uses an ATmega 328P microcontroller, it's controlled over MIDI, and it produces sounds like this. Now the biggest change since the previous video is that it now supports playing more than one note at a time. You can play up to four, and any additional notes will cause the previously held notes to be gradually released. The newer notes take priority. You can, of course, re-trigger like that. Now, to manage to play four notes at the same time, I did have to go and rewrite quite a lot of the code. It no longer uses C for the main um, sort of synthesizer engine loop. That's now all written in assembly. I did also have to change the sample rate. It used to be running at 44.1 kilohertz. I've had to drop that down to 36 kilohertz to give me a little bit more time to generate each sample and make sure that I don't uh, sort of miss uh, incoming MIDI information, for example, or uh, fail to update the envelopes on time. Uh, you've still got the usual sort of complement of features. For example, you can do a pitch bend, which affects all held notes like that. Um, but another sort of nice feature that I've added is that it no longer has uh, just one uh, MIDI channel for everything. It does properly assign notes to the incoming uh, and notes, program change events and pitch wheel events to one of the 16 MIDI channels. So just to demonstrate that, if I uh, play a note here, this controller is currently set to channel one, so that's note down on channel one. I can pitch bend that. If I now change the controller to MIDI channel 2, still holding that note down, if I press another key, I can play that, but also you'll notice if I play those notes and pitch bend, That note that I've been holding down all this time, that no longer changes because the pitch bend event is happening on MIDI channel 2, and that was held on MIDI channel 1. If I just go back to MIDI channel 1 there. Right, and then go back to MIDI channel 2. Back to MIDI channel 1. So that uh, allows this to be a much more useful instrument because uh, you can now assign different uh, patches or program numbers to each of the uh, 60 MIDI channels, and then those will be mapped to one of the four available voices, uh, playing with the right instrument, playing with the right pitch bend information, um, as that information comes in. Uh, to demonstrate that, perhaps a little more sensibly, uh, I've got the sequencer set up, so I can now trigger that to play a little sequence. A very loud sequence by the sound of it. So, uh, what can we do here? So I think here, if I switch to program pad 1, make sure I'm on... Oops. Yes, <laughs> okay. So here, if I can now send program channel, uh, program change messages to channel 1, that will change those chords in the background. So I don't know this is playing a brassy sound. I can change it to an organ. Or a guitar. Electric guitar. Electric piano. I kind of like that sort of rock organ. But the lead is playing on uh, channel 4, so if I switch to channel 4, like that program change. I can now play the lead with a horn or the organ. Electric piano. Guitar, two slightly, two slightly different guitars, that's more of an electric guitar. Of course we've got the pitch bend.
which only affects the channel this is transmitting on. So, yeah, that's a little demonstration. There's going to be more information in the uh, box below. Sorry, that's very loud. I'm going to turn it down. Don't know if you'll have heard anything of what I've been saying over that noise, but uh, anyway, <laughs> that's a little demonstration of where it is at the moment. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.